dolls! So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my full face of makeup using only Dollar Tree products. And this is a collaboration with my friend Tanya, Tanya's Beauty, here on YouTube. I will link her video right here so you guys can go check it out. But I did this full makeup look with just makeup from Dollar Tree. So I did my whole face in less with less than $15. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this, keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows first and then my eye makeup mainly because I'm gonna be doing a smoky-ish eye and I don't want to get too much fallout on my face so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and for my eyebrows I have this color mates brow powder and it does come with an itty bitty brow brush but I'm gonna cheat and use my morphe brushes for most of all of this stuff and I will link where you guys can get this exact uh, brush set in the description box below and I'm just using my Gwen Stefani palette for my mirror. I'm not actually using these shadows. Let's see how this brow product works. Okay, very pigmented, that's good. And my face kind of did break out from when I did the food as makeup challenge video. So if you guys wanna see that, um, I will link it on the screen right here. But my face is already kind of broken out from that. So I figured I might as well just do this video while my face was still broken out. This powder seems to be a little bit on the orangey side, which I'm definitely not a fan of. Alright, that's as good as I think my brows are going to get. I'm going to try and go in with the lighter shade and kind of like gradiate the fronts a little bit. There's our eyebrows. Alright, so in order to clean up my eyebrows, I'm going to use the CC cream that I'm going to be using all over my face, and I'm also going to use this as an eye primer. I didn't get an eyeshadow primer, but I got this, and I'm just going to see how this works on my brows as well as like as an eye primer, and then I'm going to proceed to put this all over my face once my eye makeup is done. I tried this a couple weeks ago, and I broke out from it, so yeah, we'll just, we'll see how this goes. So again, I'm just using my Morphe brushes and I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and use this as concealer first to conceal my eyebrows. And I'm just gonna pull it all down my whole entire lid and blend with my finger to use as primer. All right, there we go. I concealed my brows and popped on my eye primer, which is just my CC cream. I'm gonna go ahead and use this setting powder. This is the Color Mates Pressed Powder in Rose Beige. And this is probably a shade or two dark for me because they didn't have my shade. So I'm just gonna make a do with it and I'm going to use this as a base for my eyes. And I might as well just use the little powder puff pad thing that's in here and conveniently there is a little mirror in here so I'm just gonna use this as an eye base just like that and again actually pretty pigmented look how orange this powder looks oh my gosh okay now I'm gonna start working on my eye makeup and for my eye makeup I'm gonna use this LA colors eyeshadow palette and this one is in night out that's what the name of this one is called n-i-t-e and then out and here are all of the shades it does come with a little sponge applicator which I won't be using so I'm gonna take a fluffy morphe brush and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this oh I just stuck my finger in it this shade right here definitely very fallouty <laughs> has a lot of fallout and I'm going to pop this in my crease just to get an idea of what I'm working with here figured this was a safe color to choose first okay so that's about what we're working with then pick up the pink now see what it will do there we go the pink seems to be a lot more pigmented than the other now I'm going to start going in with the shades from lighter to darker. So I'm going to start with this one right here and I'm just going to kind of blend that in my crease and then work with this one and then work with this one and just basically build up that smoky eye. 
So starting with the lighter gray. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the darker gray. And there is a ton of fallout Okay, so to add a little bit more dimension to this, I'm gonna go ahead and take that um, eyebrow powder that I have, and I'm gonna use the darkest one, and I'm going to use that same brush with this brush right here, and pop that on and see. Oh yeah, that deepens it up and smokes it out a lot more. Now I'm gonna take another brush, and I'm gonna start packing on the darker color mixed with the eyebrow powder onto my actual lid itself and instead I'm just gonna make this one full like hardcore smoky eye. Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's our smoky eye so far I suppose. Now I'm just gonna clean up with a makeup remover wipe. Okay so now that the top of my eyes are done I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my face. Now I'm going to go in with that CC cream like I talked to you guys about before and I'm going to use the Dollar Tree Beauty Blender. However, I got this thing damp and it barely soaks up any water. I got my regular Beauty Blender so you guys could see the difference. These are both damp and I kind of prepped them both just in case this one totally sucks and I decided to use this one instead. But this is the Dollar Tree Beauty Blender and this is a traditional brand beauty blender so let's see it's mainly just like I don't know how to explain this I don't like it it feels so like firm and not okay feels just really not not good so sorry beauty blender you're going bye bye we're gonna use the traditional one because it's a thousand times better And I didn't really get a contour, but I got this concealer, but it's a few shades too dark. This is in the shade beige, and it is LA Colors, but as you can see, it's kind of a few shades darker than my actual face, so I'm thinking I can use this as a contour. Oh, I kind of got to like lather this on here. This is this going to this gonna take a little bit, guys. Okay, my temples. It's gonna get like all in my hair here. Okay, seems to work a little bit. Yeah, that could work. Now that my contour is done ish, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with that powder again. For my blush, I found an e.l.f. blush and this is in the shade Pink Passion. And it's just a really pretty Barbie pinky blush. And apply this with whatever so more fitting than an e.l.f. brush. So I'm just gonna pick that up on there and go ahead and tap off excess and pop this on my cheeks. So I'm gonna work on my under eye and I'm gonna go back in with that same packing brush before and the um, eyebrow powder. And I'm gonna go underneath of my eyes, kind of smoke this out a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and probably work on liner. This part's gonna be really hard for me to do on camera, but I got the LA Colors Liquid Liner and I have used this before. Oh, I got the black brown. I meant to get the black black, but I have used this before and I have liked it. Okay, I did that pretty good one-handed. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera so I don't completely and totally mess them both up. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take this black-ish shade again and my Sigma E21 brush, this really tiny one, and I'm gonna go in the corners of uh, my bottom lash line so I can kind of connect the wing liner to the bottom. So now that that is connected, I'm going to go in with this that I got. It is a Wet n Wild Glitter and this is spiked. So it just looks like this, super glittery and pretty. And I'm gonna put some of this along my lower lash line, just like that. I don't know if you guys can really see. Let me zoom you in so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. This is just a really like tacky consistency. So it looks like it's gonna go on like really all over the place. Alright you guys, this eye right here has been watering like crazy and the product isn't wanting to really stick to it. So bear with me, guys, bear with me. So I guess next thing is the thing that I am most terrified which is Dollar Tree Mascara. You guys, if you're not familiar with my story or you are new to my channel, I actually lost my eyelashes due to Dollar Tree Mascara. So I'm definitely terrified of this. But this is a different brand and hopefully everything will go smoothly. <laughs> my eyes are really despising me right now though, like they're really watery, so hopefully I can make it through this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, oh my gosh, this is so like liquidy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this on my eyelashes. Okay, it actually doesn't wanna transfer to my lashes that much, so. I'm just gonna leave that as is, I suppose. I actually completely and totally forgot to do my highlight, so I'm gonna do that right now. I have this loose eyeshadow, and it is white. And again, it is LA Colors brand, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as my highlight. I'm just dumping some into this little plastic tray here. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to use more of a stamping motion than a sweeping motion. There we go. Okay, so now I have eyelashes. These are the Colormate Eyelash Kit One Pair of Eyelashes and Adhesive Gel. I do not like using the lash glue that comes with eyelashes. I prefer just to use Duo, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use this. And again, hope and pray that my eyelashes do not fall out. <laughs> this eyelash glue is 100% dried up. So, literally, I have no choice <laughs> but to use my own. So I'm just gonna use my handy dandy trusty duo to apply these instead. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my eyes are like very, very sensitive right now. They're kind of hating me at this moment, so I'm gonna hurry up and do my lips. For my lips, I have a Color Mates lipstick, and this one is in the shade Dark Pink Frost. Ooh, it's like a berry color. All right, I don't hate the lips. Okay, and I guess that's gonna be it for my full face using only Dollar Tree makeup. I challenge you guys to all go to your local Dollar Tree and try to recreate this look or even just do this challenge all on your own. It was a little sloppy, it was a little messy. Some stuff didn't blend as easily as I hoped it would, but it's not horrible. It, like I said, it takes me like a flashback to the days that I actually wore Dollar Tree makeup every single day of my life when I was in high school um, because it was all I could afford at the time. And the lipstick, I'm really not hating the lipstick. I think the lipstick is like my favorite part. Um, I like the brow powder as far as eyeshadow goes, but the brow powder on the brows, it was a little bit too like red toned for me. And I do really love the blush and this um, loose eyeshadow really worked well as highlight. So if you were super pale like me, pick this up as a highlight because it worked really well. And if you like glitter, get yourself some glitter. So I guess with that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. Let me know in the comment section how I did. Do not forget to go check out my friend Tanya's video. And yeah, I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye. All right, who's the hottest? Um, I had a major crush on Brock when I was, like, young, so we're gonna pick Brock. <laughs>